nobody know what he went through, that feeling that he went through. When you think about, man, how dangerous it was, the price he was willing to pay. See, he ain't like no little child, a house catcher on find a child run back in and get their dial. You know, they didn't have the reasoning, so a child could never be a hero. But this man had the reasoning to know what he was doing and said, I'm gonna do it anyway. I selected Mississippi as my first destination, primarily because a recent lynching there had received national attention. I would travel by bus. In the bus station lobby, I looked for signs indicating a colored waiting room, but saw none. I walked up to the ticket counter. When the lady ticket seller saw me, her otherwise attractive face turned sour, violently so. This look was so unexpected and so unprovoked, I was taken aback. Taking care to pitch my voice to politeness, I asked about the next bus to Hattiesburg. She answered rudely and glared at me with such loathing I knew I was receiving what the Negroes call the hate stare. It was my first experience with it. This was so exaggeratedly hateful. I would have been amused if I had not been so surprised. I framed the words in my mind, pardon me, but have I done something to offend you? But I realized I had done nothing. My color offended her. After six weeks of travel and with Christmas nearing, I felt it was time to go home. I quit taking the medication which was maintaining the darker skin tones. When you look at black like me, we will never, especially black folks, we will never know the true effect because we wasn't around that many white folks that understood what he was doing or understood the benefits that it was going to happen, not just to America, but to the whole world. He woke him up. What Griffin did was so to identify with the black community and its daily life as to uh, experience the diverse humanity of everybody on the street. Not everybody was innocent, not everybody was bad, not everybody was the same, but everybody was human. And the breakthrough is the final assertion and experience that the humanity is deeper than any of our differences. Before he wrote Black Like Me, John Howard Griffin was a novelist. Wings Press editions of his novels, The Devil Rides Outside, Noonie, and Street of the Seven Angels are available as ebooks formatted for the Kindle, Barnes & Noble Nook, Sony Reader, iPad, and other reading devices. Also available as ebooks are Griffin's memoir of his 10 years of blindness, Scattered Shadows, his biography of Thomas Merton, Follow the Ecstasy, and Available Light, Exile in Mexico, Robert Benazzi's critical biography, Man in the Mirror, John Howard Griffin and the Story of Black Like Me, is also available as a Wings Press ebook.